Um, you know, most people get appointed CEO because they're good decision makers. Um, but then when you're there, you actually have to make less decisions, but the ones you have to make are often trickier. Um, and, th and that's difficult because your natural desire is to jump in and do stuff. But in fact, if I go back to my point on team, you've got to get the right people around you um, in order to be able to do that. And then you have to be ready when difficult things happen. Um, you know, one of the things that I've, we've had lots of crises, some very serious ones actually in my, um, you know, in my time in the business. And, and you'll know the CEO level decisions when they come to you. Um, they're typically ones that no one else can make and they're hard. Um, and that's where, you know, some of the points that, you know, uh, you know, Sonia and others made earlier, you need to be fit and ready and you need to have the capacity um, in, order to be able to, in order to be able to do that. Um, I think there is, um, you know, there's a great opportunity as a CEO to use crises for advantage. Um, now again, um, I run the risk of sounding a little naive here, you don't want crises. Um, um, but actually, if I look at the really big, we've had three, I would almost call them existential crises in my time as CEO in Greencore. One was when we had a complete failure of uh, financial control um, in a business in Scotland, a relatively small business, but it was symptomatic of very serious problems. Um, three months after I was appointed. Uh, we then had the fallout where we tried to do a merger with our biggest competitor. It got, we got gazumped at the last minute um, and we floundered around, at least we were externally viewed as floundering around for nearly a year uh, thereafter. And then we had the unexpected horse meat crisis of um, um, actually coming up to two years ago. Um, but actually our business is immeasurably better and our team is immeasurably stronger um, for how we worked our way through um, through each of those. And I think there is great opportunity as, um, um, as a CEO to really use crisis to, to build confidence in the team, um, to actually reset your relationships with key stakeholders, particularly customers, um, and, to, um, and to learn and develop um, you know, as, you go, um, as you go along.